Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Lover Jive here, and today we're going to be going over how to reduce lag and fix some issues in the game Atomfall. Atomfall is the latest and possibly one of the greatest games of 2025. It's just been released, and it seems like it does have the potential to be a cult classic, so let's get this game working for as many people as we can. Now, to get this game working, you gotta go to our options. You're gonna have to play with the settings a little bit and everything like that. Before we get into it, let's just go over the basics first. Make sure your drivers are up to date. If your drivers aren't up to date, updating them can fix a lot of things. Everybody does know this, but if you, every now and then people forget. Maybe you got a little too high, a little too drunk. Maybe something's going on in the background. But yeah, make, make sure your drivers are up to date. In addition to this, when you go into Steam, you can also verify game files. It helps with a lot of issues and things like that that will appear with just general, any game in general. Now, let's go over to the display in the settings options and go over some of these because there's a few things here that can actually really help you. First off, display mode, windowed, borderless, exclusive, full screen. Switching between these can reduce lag sometimes. I found issues, depends on the game, depends on the patch, depends on when you're playing it. But basically going between windowed, borderless, and full screen can actually get you some FPS bumps. It's based on the game and your system, so you've really got to play around with that. Next up, resolution. The big thing to know here is the lower the resolution, the better. The, the smaller, the better. That's what she said, right? No, but if you, if you can go down to this, like 1024 by 6, 768, this is going to work. It's going to actually help the game run a little bit better. In addition to V-Sync, it, it can cause some issues for some people. I always like to turn it off, but if you have it on and you're running into some lag issues, maybe try turning it off. It might help. Now, when it comes to the frame rate limit, set it to 120, 90, 60, 30, whatever you want, but you should have this limit set. This is going to help you a lot. Some people have been having issues with stuttering and some weird feelings in the game. This fixes a lot of that, just setting that FPS limit and setting it to something reasonable. Sometimes you get, your, you get that limit set to 120 and you just can't handle it. Go down to 30, go down to 60. Overall, the game's going to be feeling a lot better because going from going from 120 to 30 back to 120, that does not feel as good as just running at a straight 30. A lot of people wouldn't agree with me, but that, that's just how it works. Background frame, frame rate limit, this doesn't really matter as much, but just I'd, I'd turn it down to 15, honestly. There's, there's really no need to have it higher. Now, let's go into the quality here, the custom graphic details, because there's some things here that you should be playing with. First off, I've got things set just based on my computer, but set them for yours. What I like to do is set everything with low, or if you can, turn it off. See if the game runs. What this is going to do is it's going to give you a good baseline. If everything's low, everything's as low as it'll go and the game runs fine, that means now it's time for you to play with the settings. If it goes low and you still can't get it to run, then it's time for you to mess around with your computer and see if you can get things to run better. And this is just going to involve closing down things running in the background. If you're trying to run five different games at the same time, maybe, you know... Fix your ADHD first, then focus on one game. I can't do it though, so I make videos for all of them. <laughs> Anyways though, for me, shadow detail, turning that down helps a lot. Reflection helps a lot. Draw distance, I hate to sacrifice draw distance. So I'm, I'm going to turn it to ultra because draw distance I love. Texture detail, turning this down does help a lot, especially if you've got one of those. If you get a card with lower RAM or you've got lower RAM on your video card, th this can help a lot. Water detail, again, this can help. But you can notice if you go into water and you're having issues, turn down the water detail. Ambient occlusion, this is one of those things like turning this off, turning screen space shadows off, turning mo motion blur, you probably should just turn off because it does feel a little bit weird. But basically turning all these settings off, it does actually really help the game play better. And honestly though, when it when it comes to a game like Atom Fall, this, this is all pretty basic. There's no internet, there's nothing running in the background. Turn everything down to low, it is going to run better. They do have something with mouse lag, so th this can also help if you're having that FPS lock issue. But personally, I just like to fix it by locking the FPS. You could try doing this. I don't know how well it works. It's sort of a feature you don't see in too many games. So yeah, play around with that a little bit. But yeah, basically, that, that, that's all I've got for Adam Fall. Anyways, if this guide helped, make sure you hit like and subscribe. If you didn't, let me know down below. Anyways, thank you for watching. Until next time.